Exhausted, unable to focus, inefficient? Do you suffer from brain fog, forgetfulness? Have you or someone you know come down with an unexplainable neurological disorder that has not been effectively controlled with medication? If so, you may be suffering from mercury toxicity. Those silver-colored amalgam fillings we have all had as children are 50% mercury. Mercury is a known reproductive neurotoxin under Prop 65 in the state of California. My staff and I went into taking a serious look, researching the records, uh, looking at information that uh, came about because of some clinical trials, and we felt that there indeed was a risk, particularly to women during pregnancy, uh, to those who had a propensity for diabetes, and to children. The periodic table of elements in basic chemistry show mercury to be the second most toxic material on the planet. Where is the mercury? In your mouth! Where is the mercury? In your mouth! You know, they want to drill, fill, and build. It's fast, it's easy, they don't need that much skill for it, and they make a ton of profit. It is the most neurotoxic metal known to man without a doubt, and we're putting grams of it in our mouth. Can you say your name for the camera? No, I'm unwilling to do that for a fear of reprisal, um, unfortunately. We're not allowed to speak the truth about, about any toxic materials. You're only allowed to answer a patient's questions. What if the patient doesn't know what to ask? You're, you're to keep your mouth shut? I'm sorry, I can't do that. When you can have your license removed for telling your patients that the stuff you're using on them is poison, there is a problem here. Well, the American Dental Association has a gag rule which says to dentists, if you suggest the removal of the amalgam fillings, or basically if you start talking about the health effects of mercury, going in, coming out, whatever, of the mouth, you are subject to discipline. Dentists have lost their licenses around the country for speaking out on mercury. The dentists are told in medical school that they're not allowed to hold this silver compound with mercury in their bare hands. They must have a gloved hands. They must keep it in a biohazardous container. They're not portion controls, those caps you see. Those are biohazardous container. And when they remove it, they're not allowed to put it in the sewer system. Do you really want your mouth or your child's mouth to be used as a biohazardous waste container? If you've ever had a silver amalgam filling, you could be at risk of mercury poisoning. Uh, what I'm trying to do is put it in the context of how uh, FDA regulates products. We, we do not assess the environment. We do not assess the effect of, of, of pure compounds and absolute toxicity. You, you do agree. We look at how they're, how they're used in practice. You, you do agree, though, that mercury vapors leach out of the tooth. Yes, we do agree with that. And, it, and, and that it is in, ingested into the body in part. Yes, we do agree with that. And it gets into the bloodstream. Yes. And it goes to the brain yes. and other organs of the body. Yes, we agree with that. And uh, uh, mercury uh, has a cumulative effect in the brain. Yes. You know, I don't understand why the many people in this country, probably the majority, don't know that there's mercury in a in a silver filling in their mouth and amalgam. Why is it the FDA doesn't at least, uh, since mercury vapors do escape into the into the mouth and into the body, why doesn't the FDA at least uh, make people aware of that? That mercury is dangerous when it goes into the child's mouth or anybody's mouth, and it is a hazardous waste when it is taken out. I really appreciate your giving one day notice to the public of Los Angeles and to the consumers of California. What is wrong with this board? We have waited nine years for this. Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm an 18-year cancer survivor, and, and I've had cancer because of this mercury. You just want to slough it off like that? And McCarthyism in today's era. Burning up and getting into the environment where we breathe it, and why not get it out? If there's any question about it getting into the waterways, 
And why not get that? Look, it's in the sky. <laughs> Some things should be recycled. <laughs> if we didn't have mercury in our fillings, would this be a problem? Of course not. It's the same thing about with the pharmaceutical companies as far as the commercial and the vaccines. It's money. It's money. And it's unfortunate that the safety and the health of the American people comes down to the dollar. Because you know if there's any question about it, you ought to get that substance out of there. Direct from your nation's capital, this is Inside Washington. Comment on something we haven't even looked at? I'll tell you what, our goal is a remedy suit. We want them to cease and desist using mercury anybody. Open your mouth to it. Yay! Oh, gosh, it looks so cool! The open your mouth to it. Cool! We're official! Awesome! <laughs> this is a U.S. Army government issue gas mask. We're not really sure yet whether this would be enough protection if there was a mercury vapor leak in the Army. But we intend to find out. <laughs>